What's up guys, Skinner Rampage here. So today we're going to be doing a tier list and we're going to be ranking every single New York Comic Con Funko Pop. So let's check it out. Hey, welcome back to another video. I hope you're having a great day. Today we have another tier list video for you. So a lot of you guys do actually enjoy these. A lot of you guys enjoyed the SDCC one I did, so I figured I would do one also for New York Comic Con. So if you guys like more videos like these, please leave a like down below and let me know. I can totally do more. I also even did a Naruto Collection one. Now I do want to remind you, yesterday I did all of my New York Comic Con videos as per where you can get everything, when you can get it, all the details you need, as well as going over all the reveals and how I feel about them. So make sure to check out yesterday's video for any information you need. So very quickly, as usual, we do have our question of the day, and that is, what is something you are passionate about? Now, obviously, we all pretty much collect Funko Pops, and we're all passionate about that, but I would love to get to know you guys more. What is something that you're passionate about that I don't know about you that you would love to tell me? So here's our tier list for New York Comic Con 2022, and these are our categories. Emotional distress is for the best ones that caused me emotional distress yesterday the best reveals. We also do have runner up. These are ones that I kind of felt were really great, but they didn't meet the emotional distress category. More of a common just means basically I didn't feel like it was a Comic Con exclusive, more so just a common normal release. Didn't need to be an exclusive. Could have been better, basically for any exclusive that could have been a lot better or more detailed. So this is what we're doing now. <laughs> basically, why? Why was this even here? Or why did they do this the way they did it? And then the last one, not for me, just for things I don't really collect. Now, if you guys happen to enjoy videos like this and you want to see more in the future, just make sure to hit that like button down below and it lets me know. As well as if you guys want to do this tier list for yourself, I'll leave the link down below in my description because this is the one I custom made. So I do have a link to provide you. Now, let's, I guess, let's just kind of jump into it. So the first thing we do have is the red Superman here. So this one is basically the counterpart of the blue one. The only thing they changed was the hands. And I do think these ones are kind of cool. Like the Superman blue is really unique. I do think they should have made it glow in the dark though. I think that would have been like a huge or I feel like that's a huge missed detail there. So I'm going to put this one in could have been better personally, but I still think it's a really, really cool exclusive. So it's like almost in the runner up category. If it was glow in the dark, in my opinion, I think it definitely would have made it to runner up or maybe even emotional distress because it's a really cool one. Now, the Statue of Liberty. Hmm, this one's tough because like I get why they did it as an exclusive and I do find it cool that they made it exclusive because obviously Spider-Man Noah Helm, it's in New York and then you have New York Comic Con. And yeah, basically, so you get how they're kind of tying it all together. I would have preferred something different for Spider-Man No Way Home, though. This is, we waited so long for a new release, and this is what they gave us, and I was just kind of like, you know. Like, this is one I'll probably pick up for my Spider-Man set, but I'm going to put in runner-up, because I don't really feel like it fits any of the other categories. Like, maybe, so this is what we're doing. Actually, no, I'm going to put in, so this is what we're doing. Even though I do want it, so really, this is what we're doing, not a... Not a Spider-Man or Green Goblin, just surprise exclusive, just the thing. Even though, again, I find it nice. Okay, so the Groot one, they've done they've done a lot of Groot Pops, like a lot. Then again, they've done a lot of Goku and Itadori and all those other characters too. The Groot for Marvel, I feel like this one is maybe, I'm going to put in not for me. I'm just going to go for not me, not for me. This one could have been better, like the Nick Fury one. Actually, not even. This one's more of a common actually, in my opinion, like this one's legit more of a common because like, I, I feel like honestly, hold on one second. I'm going to put this, I'm going to put this one up. Could have been better. I feel like that fits better, but I feel like Nick Fury definitely more of a common release. There was nothing that screamed Comic-Con for this. It wasn't in a dynamic action pose. It's like just kind of him just standing there. So yeah. So yeah, more of a common for that one. I feel good about that one. Parks and Rec, they, they do a lot of like con exclusives, Park and Recs or exclusives. I'm going to do not for me for that one because I just don't collect it. I don't really have anything bad or, you know, good to say for it for the most part. Not for me. Like, I think it's a cool exclusive. It definitely, it should have, it was a good one that released this year. This one, again, not for me. I've never seen The Last Kingdom. Kayla, more of a common, honestly. Like, I get why they did it. They did it because it probably wouldn't have sold well as a common, but this it's basically a common release. But I do, I do like her character in the movie. Uh, Harry Potter... Definitely runner up, both of these. I thought these were really awesome, very creative here. Even though they've done a billion Harry Potter pops, I still think they were pretty good. Um, Kaboom Serial, <sighs> more of a common, honestly. Same thing, because we got the con exclusive for the soda, and now we have the con exclusive for the pop. 
this just screamed common to me. And even even like these two uh, ad icons as well, the Rubik's Cube and the Polaroid camera right off the bat, just going to put those in more of a common. I think the idea of them is very unique. I think they're cool. I feel like Funko is just making a pop out of everything these days at the same time. But I feel like these were common releases and not New York Comic Con, basically. But I guess that's just my opinion, I suppose. Borat. I think Borat was a good runner up for me, honestly. Like, it's not causing me emotional distress, but I thought it was a really cool exclusive and definitely screams Comic-Con. Now, Notorious B.I.G., I just, so this is what we're doing. Like, seriously, we we did not need that for Comic-Con. This is another one. We have so many pops of him. Um, even though, of course, there are fans of it. There are fans of each individual thing here. Just for me, it's just like, definitely could have been a common. Uh, these two Simpsons characters, I wish they were individual, but I'm going to put... I'm going to put runner up, honestly, because they do a lot of Simpsons exclusives. I think I thought these were pretty cool. I feel like this should have been maybe a two pack or I think there's three bullies, if I'm not mistaken. I think there's three. So maybe making all three for a three pack would have been really nice. But I'm going to throw the Simpsons and a runner up, even though they do a lot of Simpsons Comic Con exclusives. I still think those were pretty good, even though they also could have been comments. Mm, now you got me thinking. I'm gonna, Actually, I'm going to put more of a common. No, 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 no. Mm. Now I'm gonna put more of a common. Yeah, I feel like those two, because they're not they're not big, big characters, you know? They're just bully characters in the show. They're not huge characters like Bart, you know, Lisa, Homer, and all them. So more of a common for that. Now, Anakin, I think I'm gonna put in the um I think I'm gonna put in the runner-up category because you guys know I'm not a big Star Wars person, but I do find the pop cool. I have seen the movie that it's from. Um Bailey made me watch a couple of the movies. And I like the Star Wars movie. I'm just I've never been a big Star Wars person. But yeah, I think I'm going to go with runner up for that one for me, because it's like I want it's one I want to pick up, but it's not like if I don't get it, it's not the end of the world. Um, this Star Wars one, I don't really know about Andor, so I don't feel like there was I'm going to I'm going to put so this is what actually even I'm going to feel like this one's more of a common because there's like nothing crazy about this pop, even though I don't know much about it still, it's just kind of like. It's just a droid standing there. It's not like the Purge Trooper, which is a really awesome looking pop. So I'm going to put more of a comment for that one. Merida, this, so this is what, like, honestly, really, <laughs> this is literally the same pop. Just, I think the bow is just changed. I think it's like the same thing. So no, we, we did not need that. Even Eat the Dory. I could argue the fact that it could go and could have been better because it is a really, it, it's a cool pop. Like the concept of it is really cool. If we got this for New York Comic Con instead of getting the SDCC exclusive last time, then that would have been fine. Maybe as a regular exclusive, I don't really feel like this is, this should have taken up a Comic Con spot. And again, the argument here is the fact that I get a lot of people like this, and I myself, I find it funny, I find it cool, but it shouldn't have been a con exclusive because this is the eighth variant of Itadori in half a year. We haven't even got the commons released just yet, and they just put out the four pack, so it just it's not something that really needed to be made um just yet at least later on sure but right now it just it feels like they're just trying to milk us for as much as money as possible on this specific character from season one claire bell cow kind of indifferent i don't it didn't really scream comic con but i they've had like disney ones like this in the future like the uh the mickey one. well even the, like i'm gonna say more of a common for this one as well because like even even though it's not for me, I don't really collect a lot of Disney. Like this one wasn't like the Three Musketeers for you know Mickey, Donald, and um, Goofy, for example. So it wasn't as creative as that. This is just Claire Bell Cow standing there. This one was. I feel like this was kind of interesting. I'm gonna put this one for not for me. It's a cute little pop and buddy thing. It's not from a short I've seen personally. The owl. They had some good stuff for Disney and then some kind of just like, I feel like we're just thrown in there. The Owl for Disney, not for me. I'm just indifferent about it. The sodas, I honestly, I thought the sodas were pretty cool. Actually, I'm going to put could have been better for the Maleficent one because I feel like she should have been glow in the dark versus diamond collection. You know, I, I don't feel like they should have done diamond collection there. Glow in the dark would have made way more sense, but you, you don't meet too many diamondized dragons, you know. Um, Cell, I, I, as much as I like this pop, it should have been a common release. Roger Rabbit. I actually really like this one. I watched this kid uh, movie a lot as a kid. Even the horrific parts where they, y you know, you know it. And I also thought it was really nice that we got another uh, Roger Rabbit pop. Okay, the pigeons, pigeon and uh, pizza rat. I'm I'm indifferent because they always have a mascot, so it's just kind of like it is what it is. They're never gonna not have a mascot. 
This one I thought was really great. I think that's a really awesome Comic-Con exclusive runner-up. This one I thought was also really good. The Juggernaut Soda. That was so unique and not something I was expecting for a character to be a soda. So they really caught me off guard here. Should he... The, the glow feels weird on this one because the face doesn't glow. If you guys get what I mean. I wish I could enlarge it here for you. I'm going to go with probably could have been better. Even the Phoenix, like, I was hoping for a new Phoenix pop, to be honest, like, a new comic version of her. I'm gonna put could have been better for the Sodas. The Crow, oh, could have been better. Like, I like the idea of getting a Crow Soda because the pop is expensive, so this is a great alternative figure for everyone else. But the fact that the Chase is just, like, the Crow on his arm and you can barely see it at that, a lot of people couldn't even figure out what the Chase was. They could have designed it a lot better and done something different. Maybe even a glow-in-the-dark Chase. That would have been really cool because um, they do have the glow pop, so... You know, make a crows on him with glow in the dark, something like that. Uh, Aquaman, I thought was pretty unique. I'm, I'm glad we got another classic Aquaman. So for me, runner up, I'm gonna put this one in just because it caused Bailey emotional distress, and she's my other half essentially. So <laughs> I'm gonna put the twins in emotional distress, um, and I'll probably pick it up at the con to be honest. But yeah, that one's probably gonna go in emotional distress, uh, just just for her. She, she when she watches this video at another time, she'll probably laugh. The, this one, yeah, it's not going in emotional stress because I don't like all of the details on this pop, and I meant to kind of describe this more yesterday, but we were going over like 50 plus reveals, so I needed to be quick with some. The Yu-Gi-Oh! pops are really awesome. Like, I love the fact that it's the five-headed dragon. I think it's really awesome, but if you compare it to the Dungeons and Dragons, like multiple head dragon one, it's just not like the detail and design just doesn't compare. That one is leagues better than this one. This one looks very plasticky in some portions, and I feel like they could have designed it better. So I like it. Like, of course, like this line is like things I like, but I think they could have been designed better. So I'm going to actually throw that one in. the. I, I feel like that's I feel like that's a little bit of a hot take, but let me know how you guys feel about it. Just before you disagree or agree. Fully look at the de design up close for yourself on the Funko app or whatever images, and let me know if you guys agree with that. All right, next up, we do have Star Sapphire here. I'm going to go this one for runner-up. I thought it was really nice, to be honest. I, I think they did a really good job on that exclusive. It would have been a cool glow-in-the-dark as well. Uh, Gloomy Bear. <laughs> I just thought this one was really funny, to be honest. I wasn't expecting more Gloomy Bear. I kind of want it because it's just so funny looking. I'm going to put runner-up because I kind of want it. King Joker, I thought was really good. Runner up, they did a good job on that one. Or uh Emperor Joker, excuse me. The soda, I I wish we would have gotten another pop of him. Though the soda was pretty cool for him, so probably couldn't put runner up. Honestly, they've been doing so many black light soda, like so many. So I'm throwing that one in so this is what we're doing because they they do so much black light lately. I'm glad there was only one black light thing here though. Joe Joe, just not for me. Kind of indifferent. Looney Tunes, I thought that was pretty good. I feel like this one probably could have been more of a common, like a common release in a full Looney Tunes set, but I'm going to put in runner up because I thought it was pretty cool. This one, emotional distress, like I need it. I grew up on Ben 10. This one, my brother was more of the Loose Clues fan growing up. Like I watched the show kind of on and off. I just think it's more nostalgic for me, kind of like when I was a kid watching it with him. So we're going to throw in a runner up because I just think it was a cool Comic-Con exclusive. This one, Ted Lasso, we just got a Ted Lasso for SDCC. This one feels like a common. Like, it really feels like a common, to be honest. These ones, I, I'm i saying emotional distress because I just find them so cool. Like the Power Rangers and Teen Inch Mutant Ninja Turtles like collab here. It actually, yeah, yeah, like I'm not a huge fan of either franchise. Like I, I do like them and I do want to collect the set because I just find them unique. I'm going to throw them in runner up though. Goku, oh my, oh my gosh. I, this caused me emotional distress yesterday especially the walking one where he's just standing there walking. I love the Kamehameha one uh, that's going to Chalice, but the walking one's really awesome. Luffy, oh my god, yeah, I immediately, immediately. That's probably, let's, actually, I want this one first. Best exclusive to release this year. Best anime pop of the year. And I know there's non-One Piece fans out there that are probably like, eh, compared to like Naruto and all those other ones. Listen, this is probably going to take the number one spot in the top 10 anime list this year. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't want to break the news early, but I'm sorry. This is probably going to take... They, they're going to have to release something insane by the end of the year to get this pushed down to number nine. Or two, excuse me. 
they're gonna have to release something crazy but that that's number one i'm sorry it is <laughs> and this one i just really I, I we didn't need a vecna 2 back like and the pops themselves they're the molds aren't really that much different like the other vecna just has different hand symbols we don't have a problem with the hand symbols we have a problem with the actual overall design it just looks weird it doesn't exactly look like vecna but it almost does at the same time and that's the weird portion but it could have been really good but I'm putting it in this one because it didn't need to be a weird two pack like that. All right, guys. So I've been sitting here for about five minutes and I think I'm uh, I think I'm pretty happy, to be honest. I think I'm happy with how the list turned out. I think if I saw some details for different things in person, like I really want to see the five headed dragon for Yu-Gi-Oh in person. Maybe it would move up a little bit more to uh, from could it have been better to runner up or even emotional distress? Who knows? But I thought the pop itself is really great, though. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with where everything is. Let me know down below if you guys agree or disagree. Again, this is just kind of based off my opinion and how I feel about it. Of course, everybody's going to have a different opinion. If you guys want to do this list for yourself, again, make sure to check out the link down below and share it over on Instagram, and I'll share it on my story. I'm really curious to see where you guys put everything. Well, that's everything for this video, and I had a lot of fun doing it, and I would love to do more tier lists for you in the future. If you guys did enjoy this one, make sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe and click that notification bell if you're new here. With that, I do want to say a big shout out to all my Patreon supporters. Thank you guys so much for your continuous support. I really do appreciate it and love you guys for it. If you guys want to check out the Patreon and join it, check out the link down below. We do have a Patreon-only Discord where we share a lot of information, news, restocks, updates, links, and more. We also have a Facebook group that just hit 15,000 members, which is an insane number. Make sure to head over there and join that. It's a buy, sell, and trade group, as well as be following me on all my social medias, all at Skittle Rampage, for more updates. All right, love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.